Hello, I am Dina. I'm from Bina Nusantara University. The title paper is uh, The Impact of the COVID-19 Pandemic in Indonesia Face-to-Face -face versus Online Learning. This work is supported by Bina Nusantara University through the Office of Research and Technology Transfer as part of the Bina Nusantara University International Research Grant with University Kebangsaan Malaysia or UKM entitled New Technology in Education to Work for Industrial Revolution Case Study Indonesia and Malaysia. Mm, why uh, the, uh, the research uh, will be start? Because uh, change in learning model, then change in the way of learning, change receive learning, change in communication and other. So we know well about COVID-19. Learning activity will be changed because uh, somebody uh, maybe a big, uh, big area in Indonesia uh, or maybe uh, the world uh, not ready for uh, the chance. Uh, according from uh, Noster uh, model for managing complex chance uh, about the basic theory, the people send tend to be unprepared for change so that activities are needed with clear stage so that uh, the change process can be, be well received and the transformation of learning to phase into online is change. Uh, what the impact? Uh, maybe uh, first student out of rule then student uh, cross the rule on maybe a student uh, uh, on the stage or on the rule. Model for managing complex chains uh, say uh, that for a uh, good chance, we have to uh, chain for five uh, indicator for a full chance vision, skills, motivation, resources, and action plan. Because if one of them uh, not support, not uh, chance uh, be done, so uh, will be happen conclusion, uh, then uh, frustration, and attitude. So, uh, this is... Uh, opportunity for chance that uh, uh, chance will be uh, full in uh, all uh, impact or all uh, one or more indicator that no uh, that uh, will be uh, chance uh, uh, completely so uh, this is uh, will be uh, happen and uh, happen uh, for uh, for today so uh, face to face learning uh, this is a habit right in indonesia uh, face to face learning is uh, very important face to face learning this uh, the model is general learning and becomes a standard in the learning process of student this learning model takes place face-to-face, -face, lecture and student can interact directly so uh, that the learning process is more easily monitored and measured. But now, because of COVID-19, or maybe not, because uh, before that, Indonesia uh, uh, will uh, that prepare to uh, move to online learning, maybe uh, we said e-learning or distant learning. So, online learning is a technology-based learning model and is currently increasingly in demand by various group of students. Online learning is done by two methods, namely synchronous and asynchronous. Online learning model is no longer is 
uh, no longer a learning model offered by institution, but has become uh, a necessary for various groups. Current pandemic condition, uh, one of the reasons for uh, the increase in online learning, and this study was inspired to find to find out further uh, significant chance to be led to uh, the learning process. So the research problem is how can the learning process go well by changing existing learning mode? To what extent can online learning help institution to maintain the quality of learning? This study used a survey method using a questionnaire and deep interview with several edu uh, education practitioner in Indonesia, especially student, instructor, and provider of higher education. The study also adopt the concept uh, um, Delon and McLean for just a view indicator, namely uh, system quality, service quality, and user satisfaction. In previous research, we know that the three indicators are added to the four indicators related to the quality of the information system, which has very by impact on student satisfaction. So, uh, of the uh, 250 target respondent, uh, there were most respondents strongly agree with the quality of the online learning system, but with a re relatively low level of satisfaction. As well as services quality, this create a gap that needs to be explored further. The next step is to conduct deep interview with several representative rep respondents in each category. The question we ask are related uh, to two choice between on learning or face to face learning. And 60 Six percent of respondent want on learning and thirty-four prefer to stick with face-to-face uh, -face learning. So uh, we know uh, this is uh, we we uh, display for uh, five province or area in Indonesia, but dominated by Jakarta. And the result of the study influenced our research framework, which showed the impact of COVID-19 on user satisfaction based on system quality and service quality. So, behind the many impact caused by the uh, COVID-19 condition, there are various uh, positive things that can be used as learning for all uh, parties in the field of education. Based on uh, the survey result, it is known that the process of being uh, shocked due to the change in the learning model actually uh, force the learner to change their thinking. In this area of uh, increasing uh, suspect technology uh, description, both uh, lecturer and uh, student are required to have abilities in the field of uh, learning technology. So this is uh, online learning model standard for online learning. Uh, maybe you you say it, uh, in e-learning or maybe you know uh, distance learning. Uh, environment uh, and support for uh, online learning based on lecture, student, infrastructure, and material content, this is have to synergy uh, to make uh, online learning environment uh, more better. So, uh, for conclusion, chance have many impact, especially for the learning of students. The interest of students in learning is strongly influenced by media and learning material that are good and stable. The result of this study proved that 
uh, we all tend to be unprepared but uh, certainly on the other hand the fact is that the positive things from uh, this pandemic actually prove that education practitioners education practitioners in indonesia are better prepared by online learning because they are more comfortable and satisfied with online learning while supported by the government and good system compared to the two-phase uh, face-to-face learning by using the online uh, media indirectly the ability to use and access technology in increasing master by lecture and the sometimes for learner learning material need to be delivered persuasively using a variety of digital content to increase the interest of student okay i think that's all thank you